I'm Confucius, happy Halloween. Uh, my descendant, Dr. John Chai, invited me to meet his two patients who are 100 years old. Now, May to my right, May will be 101 next week. Yeah. So, so May, what is your secret to living so long, Clean so healthy? Clean living. Clean yeah. living. Yeah. Clean living. And peace of mind. Peace of mind. This is all ancient Confucius teachings. And there's something else. Who's taking care of you? My daughter. My daughter Phyllis. Phyllis. That is filial piety. A wonderful, wonderful ancient traditional trait. This produces long life and healthiness. Mm -hmm. And besides, there's something I've noticed. Dr. John Chow has taken care of your teeth. You have all your teeth. You want to live long, keep your teeth healthy. And Phyllis, and now the, the, Phyllis, you, you take care of your mother, right? Yeah. 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 And, uh, and now, when you were Phyllis age, did you take care of your parents? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. The generations of, of filial piety, yeah. taking care of your parents. That's secret to long life, too. Yeah. That's a secret uh, uh, coming from ancient Chinese wisdom, and I'm here to remind you of that. Okay. Thank you so much. Now, Phyllis, yeah. do you have anything to say about your mother, yeah. why she lives so long? <laughs> she never gives up. Never gives up. Determination, discipline right. again. Right. Discipline, again, that's a beautiful Chinese trait. Do you agree with that? Discipline. Mm -hmm. Discipline, willpower. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the balance, right? Yin and yang balance. Yeah. Yin and yang yeah. balance. Yeah. Now modern science is catching up with ancient Chinese uh, virtue because, because now we're talking about the balance between good germs and bad germs. The microbiome having beneficial germs and uh, and uh, that, that helps us stay healthy, and and the other, and the uh, and the not so beneficial germs in balance. So Chinese teaching is being right. We have Pete here. Pete is 100 years old. Yes. Now, uh, now we're going to ask you what your secret is. You're healthy. You're standing up. You're taking care of yourself, and you have a wonderful daughter who's taking care of you. Yes. And Beth, would Beth, would you come in here, please? I, I what is the secret? My, my secret is to uh, have uh, good parents. Good parents will love you and take and, care of and you. And take care of And uh, you uh, have good habits as far as eating and, uh, and taking care of yourself. Yes, and you took care of your family, didn't you? Yep. So yeah. Uh, Beth is here, yeah. so Beth is taking care of you. Okay. That's an example <laughs> of filial piety. Yes. You don't have to be Chinese to live long. But the, but the virtue is the same, right? And you, everything is in moderation? In moderation, yes, exactly. Yeah, and? Uh, I, I had six wonderful children. Six and, wonderful children? Yes, and, uh, uh, and, a, and a perfect wife. Wonderful. Oh, and, that, that's and, that, very... and that makes a big difference in your life. Big difference. There's something very interesting about your life. You yes. were born 1924, right? Yes, exactly. And so when you were in the, in the Second World War. I was there. Tell us what you did in the Second World War. I, I was a, a fighter pilot in, in Italy and flew over uh, uh, Germany and uh, that area. And uh, did, we did strafing, bomb, bombing, and uh, uh, fighting. And that was it. Yeah. You're 100. Yeah, over 100 now. You're talking about you were a dive bomber. Well, uh, that photo is uh, when I was in Italy. I, I, I was fortunate enough to uh, be a fighter pilot and to uh, be in, based in Italy, which I am Italian descent. <laughs> and uh, mm. they, it made it very interesting for me. And uh, we flew uh, into uh, uh, Austria and and uh, uh, parts of Germany and uh, and Yugoslavia. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, and you, this is the plane. Tell them about that your plane. plane. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That, that, yeah, that was a type of airplane that I flew. That's a, a that's, that's a big plane. <laughs> it's a it's a twin engine. Only one person flying it. Wow. And uh, it had. Four machine guns and a cannon, so wow, you it was a were, very, very powerful airplane. Wow! So uh, you were, you were able to operate all that. 
pardon? Yeah. You, you operated a machine gun and, yeah. and the plane and everything else. Yes. And, That's uh, amazing. Uh, we, uh, we would uh, do uh, strafing runs where you would shoot against uh, railroads and what happened, trains and oh. stuff. And, uh, and then we would also carry bombs and we would dive bomb uh, against targets for that were in uh, in, in Germany and and uh, in that area. Wow! So and uh, he's only 20 years old here. 20 years old. <laughs> now <laughs> what? What got you into the the, the bombers? Um, the I always was interested in uh, in flying, and uh, I wanted to be a pilot. Mm. And uh, it was very difficult. The the uh, uh, restrictions were very rigid, and uh, I was very fortunate. My health was good, and uh, you have to have good health. And well, I always say, okay, health-wise, he always took care of himself mm -hmm. until his doctor's appointments. Mm -hmm. He was very social, mm -hmm. and now they always say for your mind, it's really good to be social. So mm -hmm. he's always been social. He always kept in really good touch with people he worked with throughout mm -hmm. the years. As a matter of fact, one of his work friends from years ago just texted today saying she wants to have lunch with him. Aww. And then also he always liked fruits and veggies. Yes, a good balanced diet. So he liked yeah. eating yeah. lots of veggies, like a big thing of cauliflower and broccoli. Wow. And tons of fruit, loves fruit. Yeah. And then another thing I think for longevity that I see in my dad is that he always had a very curious nature. Mm. So he was very curious. Exercise your mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and those are very Italian and those are very Chinese. <laughs> 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 and then, and there's definitely feel your piety here. <laughs> right, you love your parents and your parents yeah, love so you. Yeah, so he's a good son to his parents. He always took, took care of his, both his parents into their old age. He yeah. really took good care of them. That's very Chinese, very Christian. Yes, very Christian. Christian say, honor your parents to live long life. Yeah, yes. it's the truth. I yeah. agree completely. My father was a preacher and I, I oh, heard really? that. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. Amazing. You honor your parents, you can live long. Honor, yeah, he did honor his parents. He took really good care of them. Yeah, they're very Chinese, very yeah. Chinese. Oh, that's neat. That's why I wanted to bring it out as Confucius. I love that. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate <laughs> such, such a wonderful testimonial. Yes. And uh, really, really a pleasure to meet both of you. Yes. Uh, well, very, very, really now you have it. also have good teeth. <laughs> good teeth is the most important thing yes. to live a hundred. <laughs> both of you have wonderful teeth. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Happy Halloween. Okay. <laughs>